Shalom, the Lord bless you. says God is sending you a divine helper to work with you you say it again this prophetic word says God is sending you a divine helper to work with you it's been amazing by the special grace of God it's been wonderful the Bible says God created us in his likeness and in his image and if God will create you in that manner, it's because he wants you to act in such a way that it's going to suit your purpose, it's going to suit the plans that he has for you. There are people whom the Lord begins to call them to work alone. And there are others that the Lord calls them and gives them divine helpers, gives them helping hands connect them to people so it's a whole lot not everybody is called to fulfill purpose alone there are people who are called now why do I have to explain all this before telling you um, what I want to say it is because once you get the better knowledge you get the better understanding the bible says you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free making is a process and making is knowledge. The truth is knowledge. Once you knew or you discover what you did not know before, you're delivered. Your mindset changes. The way you see things change. That is what I'm talking about. So if I go straight to every prophetic word, it's going to be very good. And it's going to be very fine for me to go straight to those prophetic words. But the question is, do you understand or did you understand? That is the question. So I would rather an explanation so that you understand. And that is why I always tell people, patience is virtue. Patience is virtue. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. So God is sending you a divine helper. And I was saying one thing you must understand is that not everybody is called to work alone two categories of people there are people who are called to work alone there are people who are called to be assisted by others and to like working with them you must understand your pattern you must understand where god has called you you must understand your placement what has god called me to do number one am i going to do this with somebody number two or am I going to do this alone? Number three. That is what happens when you begin to receive a vision from God. The Bible says there was a man called Habakkuk. He said, write the vision and make it plain that he may run that receipt. Which means the vision wasn't for Habakkuk alone. <laughs> the vision was also for assistance. There is a man called Abraham. God says, leave your father's house and go to a place I will show you. God was strategically and he was focused on Abraham. And that is one thing you must get to understand. What is God calling me to do? Somebody right now, God says, your time has come. He wants to bring you a divine helper to work with you together. Two categories of people I'm talking about here. One person, your divine helper is going to be your spouse. Your divine helper will be your spouse. It's going to be your partner. You must understand one thing. There are people whose divine helpers are their partners. There are people whose divine helpers are not their partners. I was talking to a lady. She's married today. And then I told her when she started dating her husband now that was with, um, just boyfriend and girlfriend I told her I said the first thing I saw about your husband is that he 
is your divine helper. But honestly, I don't know yet if he is your husband. I'm a very honest person when it comes to the prophetic. And that is the thing. That is the first thing I told her. I don't know yet if this man is your husband. But one thing I've seen is that this man is your divine helper. That is what I told this lady. And today they are married. Do I still know if it's her husband? Because they are married, I don't know. But it should be her husband. But for sure, I saw it and I said, this is your divine helper. Now her divine helper became her husband. She's blessed. And there are people whose divine helpers will not be their husbands. And that is one thing you must understand about life. Your divine helper might not be your husband. Your divine helper might not be your wife. But your divine helper might also be your husband. And your divine helper might also be your wife. I'm rounding up. The Lord sent me to tell you, you've been praying for help. It is either you're going to have a double. What is a double? It is either you're going to have a partner and a helper in one person. Or you're going to have just one. And I want to pray for you that whatever the will of God is in your life, let it be done. You will need some partner and a helper in one person. You will type it on the comment section. You will connect yourself and say, God, give me a partner and a helper in one person. And you who needs just a helper, you can type it on the comment section. You will connect yourself and you will say, God, give me a helper. Oh, Pastor, what about those who uh, are just looking for partners? I don't know, but the word I received was about help. And then I remember what the Lord has taught me before about people that he brings to in one in their lives. Remember that, and then I started teaching you about it. The Holy Spirit would always bring to your remembrance what He wants you to talk about. As you begin to connect yourself in between these two which your heart desires, let God's will be done in your life. In Jesus' name, Amen. Now, may the Lord bless you, may He keep you, may He cause His face to shine on you, may He be gracious to you, and may He give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken in the name of Jesus. I love you so much. Please don't forget to pray for me. Always call my name in the place of your prayer and always share. God bless you in the name of Jesus. I love you so much. God, please send me a helper and a partner in one person. In Jesus' name, amen. That is my choice. I just mentioned personally. God bless you as you begin to mention your choices. Hallelujah. Praise God.